In this illustration, we intend to calculate the fundamental frequency of the lateral vibration of a shaft carrying one mass using the Abacus software. As you observe in the picture, the model includes beam and a concentrated mass which is located exactly on the center of the beam. The beam is one meter in length and the cross section of the beam is a circle with a radius equal to 0.01 meters. Meanwhile, a hinged support has been used on both sides of the beam. The purpose of this training is to, cal is to calculate the fundamental frequency of the lateral vibration of the shaft with concentrated mass using the Abacus software and then compare the results obtained from the Abacus software with those gained from the analytical solution. Actually, this problem will be solved twice, once using the analytical solution and for the second time by using the Abacus software. I will enter the Abacus software for simulation. I will click on create parts. I intend to create geometric shape of the beam. I will select the modeling space as 3D. From here, select deformable wire and planner. Enter approximate size equal to five and continue. I will draw a horizontal line. As you observe in this picture, the length of the beam is equal to one meter. Done. In the next step, I will enter property module, click on create material. The beam is made of steel. I will click on general menu, then on density. The density of steel is equal to 7,800 kilograms per cubic meter. I will click on mechanical menu, then on elasticity and elastic. The young modulus is equal to 200 gigapascal, and I will enter that equal to 200 multiplied by 10 to the power of 9 pascal. The Poisson ratio is equal to 0 0.3 and OK. I will click on create section. I will select beam and then beam again. Continue. Click on create beam profile. Here, select circular and continue. As you observe in the picture, the cross section of the beam is a circle with a radius equal to 0 0.01 meters. I will enter the radius of the circle equal to 0 0.01 meters. OK. And OK. I will click on assign section, select the beam done and OK. After that, I click on assign beam orientation, select the beam done and press enter button. As you observe in the picture, a concentrated mass is placed right in the middle of the beam that is equal to 40 kilograms. Here first, I'll click on Tools menu, then select Partition, then select Midpoint Datum Point. Select this point that is right in the middle of the beam and click on Create Partition. In the next step, I'll click on Special menu, then Inertia and Create. Here, I'll select Point Mass Inertia. Continue. Select this point. Done. Enter the am amount of concentrated mass equal to 40 kilograms and OK. In the next step, I will enter assembly module. Click on create instance and OK. I will enter step module. Click on create step. Here, select linear perturbation, then select frequency and, and continue. I will enter the number of natural frequencies equal to 4 and OK. In the next step, I will enter load module. Click on create boundary condition. Here, select initial step. Then select displacement rotation and continue. I will select both ends of the beam. Done. As you observe in this picture, a hinged support has been used on both ends of the beam. 
So I will close all boundary conditions of displacement except U R three. In this manner, the rotation about Z axis would be free. Okay. Click on seed part. Enter approximate global size equal to 0.01 meters. Click on mesh part and yes. I will enter job module. Click on create job. Then click on Submit. The analysis was done successfully, so I click on Result. Here, you can observe the natural frequencies of the model. The first frequency is related to the fundamental frequency of the shaft with a concentrated mass. And here you can observe its mode shape, which looks like this picture. Here, the first frequency is the same fundamental frequency of the model. The natural frequency having been obtained from the Abacus software is equal to 6.806 Hz. Here you can observe the natural frequency obtained from the Abacus software can be observed that is equal to 6.806 Hz. Here, we intend to calculate the fundamental frequency of the lateral vibration of the model using the analytical solution. We use this formula in order to calculate the natural frequency in which F is the natural frequency, K is stiffness, and M, E, Q is equivalent mass. Here, first, we should calculate the values of M, E, Q and K, E, Q. To do so, we, uh, we use this formula uh, has, been, uh, has been extracted from the Mechanical Vibrations book by Rao. Here, the Mechanical Vibrations book by Rao can be observed. Here, you observe the formula we used for calculating MEQ. Here first, the mass of beam has been calculated, that is equal to density multiplied by volume, and the mass of beam is equal to 2.45 kilograms, and finally MEQ is equal to 41.225 kilograms. In the next step, we should calculate the value of K EQ. We use this formula to calculate the value of K EQ, which has been extracted from the Mechanical Vibrations book by Rao. And here you observe the formula of K EQ having been used in this problem. Here, E is the Young modulus that is equal to 200 multiplied by 10 to the power of 9 Pascal. I is second moment of area, the formula of which can be observed here. L is the length of the beam that is equal to 1 meter. I should make this point added that in order to calculate the value of I, 
or the same second moment of area, uh, we have used the vector mechanics for engineer's book. And here you can observe the second moment of area formula having been used for the circle. And we used that for calculating the value of second moment of area. Finally, having calculated the value of M EQ and K EQ, we should insert these values in this formula in order to calculate the natural frequency. The natural frequency having been obtained from the analytical solution is equal to 6.806 Hz. As you observe, the results obtained from the analytical solution are exactly concordant with those gained from the Abacus software. Actually, the natural frequency having been obtained both, both in the Abacus software and analytical solution is equal to 6.806 Hz, indicating that the Abacus software managed to calculate the natural frequency of the model with high precision, and the results obtained from the Abacus software are exactly concordant with those gained from the analytical solution.